Avengers Tower Mode is back, and in this video, we're talking all about the changes that happened from the first version to this current version, also the tips and tricks that you need to get to the highest floor possible. And of course, this is Marvel Strike Force. We're talking about some bugs that came along with the second iteration of this Avengers Tower. And if you're ready for that, guys, find that like button. You know what to do. Let's go smash it. Alley flying. Oh yes, hello Valley Maniacs. I am Valley Flying. I want to welcome you back to the Valley Flying channel. I hope you're having a great day. We are talking about Avengers Tower Mode, one of the more fun game modes in Marvel Strike Force that I've had over the past six to eight months in this game. Yes, it is back. I am very happy. And let's go take a look at some of the new offers that we got in the game with Marvel with this Avengers Tower Mode coming back. Also on Valentine's Day, we have a Valentine's Day dual pair character offered. Yes, you gotta love these Valentine's Day sweetheart siblings. Cersei and Jamie Land, I mean, Colossus and Magic, you can get their offer right now. Also, as far as offers, this is one to be aware of though, guys. Don't get this offer. This is for Echo right now. Yes, the Sound of Fury. You could get 10 of or five of these orbs, photographic orb fragments. But if you buy this and you go look for those orbs, they're not in the game. So don't get that offer. They're nowhere to be found, but you know what is to be found? Bugs. Yes, there were more bugs when Tower Mode was announced. Now this has been fixed, but come on, Scopely. Why all the bugs? Today, there was an issue with Alliance Tower where the rewards for Milestone 3 and 4 couldn't be collected. This issue has been fixed. Players should now be able to collect their rewards there may be an outlier case where players need to complete one combat and attempt in Avengers Tower to collect the rewards. The team will evaluate the impact of this and determine potential compensation. Thanks to everyone who reported this issue so we can address it quickly. All right, that's good that they addressed it quickly, but now it is time to address the changes to Avengers Tower mode just back. And I'm very happy for this. Now, this is a change that were described back on January 14th, 2022. The first change that we were promised was a squad select filter that hides characters who are in cooldown. Well, we were looking for this. We were looking for this uh, today on the Valley Club in the morning, and we couldn't find it. We looked in the uh, select filter. We couldn't find anything there that indicated that this would remove the characters that are off cooldown. We looked in the sort by filter, nothing there as well. But we did find something called availability, and this is what we came up with this morning on stream with the Valley Club in the morning. Nope, that doesn't do anything. Kate Bishop's still here. That doesn't sort anything. Unless she's not, unless it is sorting her and she's not available because she's only two stars. Maybe that's the thing. No, it looks like she's still available. So yeah. We weren't able to find it. If you were able to find a way to sort through these uh, roster, all these characters that were already used, let me know in the comments because in my opinion, I think they're missing. I think they forgot to do this. Maybe because there's so much crashing going on in the game right now that they forgot to add the new features, but we were also promised two more things and it looks like they are implemented, which is good. More lower level floors and more higher level floors. Those are the big changes in the game. Let's go back into the game and we see all the floors that are in the game. We have, these are the lower level floors. Right now we are on the floor, I'm not sure if we're on 35 or 36. I guess the next one is 36. So we completed 35. But if we go all the way up, this used to end at level 75. Right now it ends at level 100. So there are more floors for end game players. This is what was promised. This is good. And if we go to the description of what is happening in this new mode of, or this new version of Avengers Tower, completing floor 60 will earn you all the milestone rewards. In the previous iteration of Avengers Tower, it was floor 50. So there are more floors for newer players. Hopefully they can get all the milestone rewards. Hopefully these milestone rewards, there are more of them, but hopefully they are easy or able 
to be completed by mid game players. The next thing I want to point out as far as changes is once you complete floor 50, you'll earn more points, the better rewards you get, but you'll also drop back to floor 61 if you lose a fight instead of, if, instead of retreating. So this was floor 51. So be aware of that. 60 is the new threshold to get all of the miles. So it's not 50. And if you lose, it's not 51. They're going to drop back to six. Uh, you're not going to drop back to 51. You're going to drop back to 61. So that's an important threshold that you need to be aware of when you're doing your battles because uh, we're going to add some tips right now. So the first tip, and I guess this is the most obvious, but a lot of players aren't aware of this. This button right here tells you the floor that you're on and the floors ahead. I think my number one tip is to plan ahead. You can see the floors that are above. You can see the, the characters that you need to fight in the next few fights. And right now in the game, if you don't include, uh, if you do include Echo and you do include Kate Bishop, there are 190 characters in the game, which means there are 38 possible teams, which means that per day, you can plan up to 38 battles, uh, assuming you're on the early floors, especially on day one and day two, when you can simulate these battles. But uh, planning ahead, you may want to plan out your whole plan of, uh, plan of attack for the day, uh, taking into some contingencies in case you lose a few battles that you're not expecting you to lose. But planning ahead, whether you want to plan out your whole day, planning all seven days, plan out the next floors, but having a plan in place is very, very important. I think a lot of people, uh, including myself during the first iteration of Avengers Tower, we're just going in and playing this for fun with no plan, but have a plan. That is going to be my number one tip. Next tip is to know when to sim battles. Now, normally, in previous, I didn't sim anything. Today, we simmed a lot, but... There's some trap floors that you got to be aware of, but uh, simming battles saves a lot of time. But my first run in Avengers Tower this day with uh, with all these low level floors that honestly, even my minion teams are stronger than some of these uh, lower level floors here. So uh, it, very easy to sim. If you are an end game player, you can sim a lot of these floors. If you're a mid game player, some of these floors. Newer player, you might want to play all the battles, but no one to sim, no one to not. I would not sim any battles after floor 61 though, even if you're very, very confident, I would still play all those manually just in case you want to be dropped back down to uh, floor 61. All right, next is knowing which manual battles are traps. Now, sometimes, even when you're simming and you got a matchup that looks favorable, even if you're punching down, you could still lose. Here's a couple battles that uh, that we got tr we got caught on, this trap team on floor 24. So let's go take a look at the footage from early this morning. Oh uh, yeah, we should win. <laughs> oh, we didn't, what the? How does that not win? This should be good. Oh, all right. The stupid dog. Ock. So floor 24 is one of the early examples of one of these trap floors where you have these strong characters like a Doc Ock who has a lot more power than the rest of his team. And it looks like you could beat these teams and you probably should beat these teams, especially if you played it manually. But for some reason or another, the AI values these characters a lot more than others. So uh, be careful of these trap floors and these trap characters. Floor 24 is one of them. You'll see some other floors, maybe a strong Doc Ock or a strong Doom as we see floor 29 here. Very low power, but a very... Very, very strong ults run right here. So even though this is a 187 as far as the total power of this team, a lot of it is in ults run. You'll see a lot of floors like this, guys. So don't just be caught off guard by the total collection power. Look at the individual members of each team. And let's move on to floor 61 because this is the big floor right here. Before this floor, anytime you lose a battle, you're going to stay on the same floor. After this floor, anytime you lose a battle, you're going to be dropped back down to 61. So this is the big cutoff, guys. You could be a little more, take a little more chances before this floor. Uh, after this floor, though, you're going to want to uh, really be conservative with your battles, put it on manual, and maybe retreating from the battle so that you don't lose that ranking. Another tip, when you're actually in the battle, past floor 61, put it on 2x speed or maybe even 1x speed so that if something goes wrong in the battle, well, you have a chance to retreat from that battle. Uh, a couple of things I do want to mention. I do like that they're including some of these newer characters in here, like the Ravagers, like the Young Avengers, like the Dark Hunters, uh, and, and even the new version of the Uncanny with Magic. Oh, there's no, there's no Phoenix there, but a lot of these, uh, a lot of these cool new characters in the game, and I like that they're updating this stuff. Uh, let me know what you guys are gonna do in this tower mode. What your plans are? How many floors do you plan to get? 
And do you like the changes? I guess one of the changes is non-existent right now, but two of the three changes look good. And if you're a newer player or end game player, this is what this change was designed for. So let me know if this helped you, this didn't help you. Hopefully this video helped you and helps you to score a little higher than you did last time in Avengers Tower mode. If it did, well, hit that like button because it helps that YouTube algorithm. Hit that subscribe button because you get more Marvel Strike Force videos on this channel, at least five a week. And hit that notification bell because if you don't hit that notification bell, you may not even get notified when a new video goes up on this channel. I hope this video helps you. Hope you have a great rest of your day. We got a lot more coming, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. And hopefully you'll be back with the Valley Club in the morning tomorrow morning. So yes, a lot of good stuff there. Make sure you give me that Hulk fist. But before you go, and have a great rest of your day, guys. Valley flying out.